Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Angie. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine. Very good. Oh, nice. Uh, corriendo, como diría? I am running. Maybe you can say in a rush. I am in, in a, a rush. rush. In a rush. Corriendo para llegar a tiempo. Yes, I am in a rush. In a rush is like in a puro, but like running. Okay. Yeah. Teacher, I have a problem uh, with my homework, number 33. What was the problem? Uh, the answer uh, is the using the, the equation on was and where. The answer this is, is sure, yes mm -hmm. or no. Yeah. Me, 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 I think, but, but in right, right? Uh, yes, I was. Yes, comma, I was. And, and not correct. What is the question? Uh, ahorita. What is the situation? No, what is the question? What is the question? What is the question? What is the question? Was I late? Creo que la primera. Was I late? Mm -hmm. And what did you write in the answer? Mm -hmm. what, what did you write in yeah. the answer? ¿Qué escribiste en la respuesta? Yes, I was. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Yes, I was. But if the question is, uh, was I late? La respuesta, uh -huh. tendría was que I late? Ser, la respuesta tendría que ser, yes, you were. Porque está, okay, es como que yo les pregunte, ah. was, I, was I late? Ustedes me van, no me van a responder, yes, I was. Me van a responder, yes, you were, o no, you weren't, en negativo. Sí, así okay. era, perdón. Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Yes, sí, Angela. problemas con esa. Oh, I need to, otro profesor. Ok, teacher, thank you. All right, but Angela, no sé si le salió buena al final. Sí, me salió buena, pero sí me, me di duro. Ok, ¿y cuál era la respuesta? La que yo le estoy Así dando. Así como le está diciendo el Tayu. Yes, ajá, el detalle es que, ajá. Ajá, es que en contexto, si yo les pregunto, um, ¿Was I late? Les estoy preguntando acerca de mí. Cuando ustedes me responden, me dicen, Yes, you were, o <coughs> No, you weren't. Because it's about me, the question, right? Not about you. Uh -huh. but, yes. but the platform. I, you, I, what, where teacher? No, was, what? Mm -hmm. In which question? La ¿En cuál plataforma? pregunta? Ajá, la, la mm -hmm. plataforma. Ajá, este, la respuesta queda, quedaba what? Así la aceptó. Mm. Espérame. Try, I please. I was. Yes, I was, quedó. Yes, I was. Okay. Uh, Adriana, are you trying? Teacher, voy a cerrar la cámara. Estoy mala de la guinita. Acabo de colocar yes. Uh, okay. Yes, you were. Y, no, ah, no lo acepta, ¿verdad? Adrianita, es okay. yes, I was. Ah. En la primera. En la primera. Ajá. La primera I was, I left. Eh, en la primera le queda yes, coma, I was, punto. Y en la segunda le queda yes, I was también. I was, sí. Ajá. Perfecta, mm -hmm. buena. Y yes, he was. Claro que sí, el teacher, porque... Ajá, pero es que no lo aceptaba, sí, teacher. No, it's okay. I, I guess your point, ok. Le, le entiendo su punto. Sí, el, el detalle es que a veces algunos libros, eh, no sé por qué razón, aparece de esa manera explicado el verbo to be. Que cuando se hace, aparece en los libros, no es la realidad en contexto, ok. En los libros aparecen la, las preguntas, las yes, no questions, y aparece... <coughs> Uh, was I late? Yes, I was. Uh, were you late? Yes, you were. Uh, was he happy? Yes, he was. Contestando en base al pronombre que está preguntando. Lo, lo que yo digo es que en contexto, en el contexto real, no voy a contestar si alguien me pregunta, was I late? Yes, I was. No, right? Porque no es acerca de mí, es acerca de alguien en un contexto. Por eso es que yo decía eso, Adrián. ¿Ok? Pero así le va a quedar. Si no, no se lo acepta. Pero si la correcta es, yes, I was, hay que escribirlo. Yes. Okay, uh -huh. right. Sí, así dio. Uh, Diana. Uh -huh. well, hello. Good evening. Good evening. 
este, en el chat de, de WhatsApp del grupo, Azalia compartió la, el screen. Ahí mm. lo compartió hace días. De Aquí lo, se, lo, se los acabo de, de mandar ahí, chicos. Ah, ok. Yes. Thank you. Se los acabo de sí. mandar ahí. De copia. La copia. <risa> no, Nelson, qué bárbaro. Es apoyo, es apoyo. No es, ah, es yeah. apoyo. Have, <risa> material de apoyo. I have <risa> error. Porque <risa> la verdad es que algunos me han ayudado a mí. Hay cosas que sí yo y cuando la ponen ay, al fin. Digo, Unbelievable. <risa> Así que es apoyo. Y si no molesto al teacher, okay. que me okay. mande okay. la copia. Ajá. No, no, it's ok. No, y, y a veces incluso yo trato de hacerlo y tampoco me sale bueno a mí porque, o sea, yo escribo la forma correcta, pero a veces hay un error. Incluso Ángela descubrió que una había que quitarle una palabra para que saliera buena y Ajá. debe ir la palabra, de hecho. Right. En, el, en el right, right now. now, ¿verdad? En el right now. Right Ajá. now. Sí, yes. o sea, yo ahí yo decía, ¿y cómo hago aquí? Entonces empecé ahí a veces... A quitar y a, a poner. A quitar y a poner, a cambiar, porque de veras no me daba y, sí, son, y tenía que terminar la tarea. By trial and error, de intento y error. Sí, realmente es, a veces son, son, no son errores de nosotros, sino que son errores de configuración, ¿ok? Así que... Me imagino que así. Ajá, ajá. Sí, eso de las plataformas es bien delicado. Yo les digo porque yo trabajé en plataformas eh, creando test así en una universidad y, y sí es bien complicado. Más esas, mayormente las que son de de rellenar o de complementar, son bien, son bien complejas porque solo se puede configurar una forma posible o dos formas posibles a veces. Y si no es esa forma, no es ninguna forma. <ríe> so it's very complex. Yeah, ah, that's the reason why. Yeah, no, I imagine. No, no. <ríe> ya lo imagino, I imagine. I'm sorry about that. O sea que, teacher, o sea que aquí yo estoy preguntando, eh, llegué tarde. Eh, la otra persona me responde si sí, usted llegó tarde That, esa sería la respuesta real okay, the real question, that would be the real question <risa> okay. Ajá. pero la, la correcta en la plataforma queda yes I was uh -huh. es como, como que, que me preguntan exactly, exactly All right. anyways exactly, ok, anyways ok, so let's start uh, and let me pass the attendance quickly, ok Ada Patricia present Adriana Present. Michelle. Present. Angela. Present, teacher. Azalia. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Darwin. No, no funciona. Present, mi teacher. It, it's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. I see your camera is not working, Azalia. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Darwin. Flor. Present. Very early, Flor. I like it. Excellent. <laughs> Gloria. Here. Excellent. Carla. Present teacher. Very good. Margarita. Do you know what's happening with Margarita? Mayra. Present. Miguel. Nelson. Present. Ofelia. Ofelia. No. Just right, she's connected, I think. Osmin. Osmin. Rafa. Rosa. Sandra. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Oh, my Present goodness. Present teacher. I arrived okay. on time. All right. Very good. Ya había puesto en asistencia, Rosa. I have put... oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Sandra. Present teacher. All right, Jansi. Voy a tener apagada la cámara, teacher. It's okay, but are you going to participate? Yes, yes. Okay, okay, perfect. Only, only tengo gripe. I have the flu, you say. I have the flu. I have the flu. All right. <laughs> Zulma. Present teacher. Edwin. Ingrid. Lourdes. Present. Very good. <laughs> Uh, Oscar. Present. And Susana. <clears throat> Teacher, no sé si me escuchó. Hello, Jensi. Sorry. No sé si, si me puso asistente. Sí, sí, sí. Yes, uh -huh. I put it. I put it. Don't worry. I put yeah. it. Okay, very good. Uh, so, everybody, uh, so welcome to this last session of week number three, okay? Today is the last session of week number three. And tomorrow is the first section, the first session of week number four. Okay. 
So I repeat. Uh, for today, uh, you are supposed to have uh, week number three or section number three ready on the platform, okay? And I check before the class. I check before the class, I check the platform, the homework, and I see everybody has completed. Only some people have 80%, I think. Solo algunos que tienen 80%. So if you want to correct, make corrections, you still have this time to make corrections, okay? And only Rafa is not connected, right? Rafa is not connected in this moment. Me falta, a mí me falta la historia, teacher. ¿Cómo se llama él? Sorry? Me falta la, la, eh, la conversación que pidió. Eh, esa es la única que me falta. Ah, all right. The, the, you mean the discussion? <clears throat> Ajá, esa es la all right. única. All right. It's okay. You can... Hecho, teacher. Okay, you can do that later. Don't worry. Sí, okay? me... Yeah, you can Eso do that sí later. All right, very good. Uh, but just always try to go to the discussions, okay, and comment on the discussions. I mean, it's not an obligation, but it's very important for you to practice writing, okay, and to practice the vocabulary, because the idea is to practice uh, the vocabulary you study during the sessions, okay, or during the classes. Very good. Okay. Uh, so only Rafa, I, I was about to say, Rafa is not connected yet, right? No, solo Rafa, me falta, creo yo, con de completar, ¿ok? Si los demás, si algunos tienen 80 y quieren llegar al 100, también pueden, aún pueden hacerlo, ¿ok? Al final se pueden quedar unos 10 minutos y pueden actualizar para que lleguen al 100%, ¿ok? So you get 100% in section number uh, three, ¿ok? Very good. Uh, so before we start, uh, do you remember uh, what we studied yesterday? Don't look at the photo, don't look at the material, just remember, ¿ok? What did we study yesterday? At the present end of the continuous. Present, yeah. present progressive. Present progressive or present continuous? Present continuous. Present continuous. continuous. But continuous. For what purpose? Or what was the purpose of the present continuous yesterday? I ended when the progress. Actions in progress. Or actions in progress for ongoing actions. All right. Acciones en curso. Ongoing actions. Like, for example, when you say, um, I am planning a project. These days, it's an ongoing action, okay? Or I am, what? I am supervising some employees uh, this week, all right? So it's an ongoing action. Es una eh, acción en curso. It's an ongoing action. Or you can say maybe, I am writing many reports. I am writing many reports. That means that, the, it means that this week, you are writing different reports, right? So it's an ongoing action, all right? Very good. So we studied uh, the Teacher. present continuous for that purpose. Yes, Nelson? Uh, present continuous, present progressive is same. It's the same. Okay. Yeah, it's the same Thank thing you. with different topics, okay? It's the same thing with different topics or titles. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Very good. So basically we studied that and you practice a conversation, right? Or you didn't practice a conversation. Did you or didn't you practice a conversation? Yes. Yes, yes. right. Yes. yes. Do you remember uh, what the conversation was about? What was the conversation about? De qué trataba la conversación? What was the conversation about? Was about was about Mr. Bridget. Yes. He was he was he was needing looking some information about. About I what? Don't remember the name. Mario, Mario. <laughs> Mister, no. Mis, Mister, Mr. 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 Perez, no. Yeah. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Sanchez. Mr. Sanchez. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a question because uh, uh, I, uh, we are the. Um, I don't. I don't remember the. the we are. Or, uh, yes, is crea uh, prom promover promover. Ah, that's right. They wanted. They wanted uh, to promote they want, someone. Uh, promote. They, want they wanted reference. to promote. Uh, yeah. Exactly. They, want they wanted yes. a, a reference to promote somebody <coughs> to a new position. Yes. Exactly. Okay, that's pretty good. Excellent. Oh, you have a good memory. I have a terrible memory, but you have a good memory. I see. I don't remember the name. I think it was Pedro. Miss or... Sanchez, Sanche, but I don't remember the name. 
I, I think it was not. Pedro or, or something, I don't know, okay? But, but the idea, the most important the was the information, okay? The information okay. that you remember the idea of the conversation, okay? Very good. So uh, for today, uh, let me see here, let me go to the, uh, I have some questions, but before I go to the questions, I want to show you something, okay? So this is the conversation. Oh, this is the conversation, right? It was Mr. Pedro and Max, okay? And... Mm. Pedro, Pedro Rigid, that's right, and Max, okay? Okay, very good. And now listen, uh, here, we are going to complete uh, this exercise, okay? But this exercise will be completed, okay. We are going to complete this writing exercise at the end of the session. Uh, so in this moment, we are going to go to another activity. Now listen, on page number uh, 37, page number 37, you have, okay, hold on a second. On page number 37, you have some performance reports about some employees, okay? Some performance reports about some employees. You have two actually, okay? Good. And you have some information about them, all right? For example, employee's name here is Raul Perez. And you have some information about Raul Perez, okay? Like a checklist, como una lista de cotejo. The employee chose commitment, yes, right? Is always punctual, yes or no? No. No, right? Uh, does not violate rules? Yes. Yes, right, good. Uh, follows indications? Yes, right? Yes. Likes to work in groups? Yes. yes. Focuses on his responsibilities? Yes. Completes the work assigned? Yes. Is a leader? No. No, it's not. No, no, it's a, no, it's not a leader. Okay, it's not a leader. Uh, communicates ideas. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Is proactive. No. No, it's not no. proactive. Is co uh, collaborative. Collaborative. Is collaborative. Yes, yes right. Uh, has a positive attitude. Yes. Yes. Okay, definitely. Yes. Very good. And uh, now let's go to the other one. Okay, just give me a sec here. Okay, and the other one is Karen Solano, all right? So let's look at the employee. Chose commitment at work? Yes, right? Yes. yes. Is always functional? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Does not violate the rules? No. No. That means she violates the rules, okay? She violates the rules. And, uh, well, the rest are yes. And the last one has a positive attitude. Has a positive attitude. No. Yes or no? No. No, right? No, so no. she doesn't. No. She doesn't have a positive attitude. No. So listen, this information is on page number thirty-seven. I repeat and remember, this information is on page number thirty-seven. Now listen carefully. Page number thirty-seven. Okay. Now listen carefully. Um. Now look, using this chart. Okay, using this chart, usando este cuadrito, using this chart, and about Mr. Solano, so about the information on page 37, you will write or you will answer the question, what are some similarities and differences between Mr. Perez and Ms. Solano, the two employees on the reading, okay? Similarities, and I give you one example here. They both follow indications, for example, si van a la lectura, ambos, I mean, Mr. Perez and Ms. Solano, they both follow indications. Ambos siguen indicaciones, okay? Los dos tienen crucita. What is the difference? Mi Solano is punctual, while Mr. Perez, while is mientras, while Mr. Perez is not, okay? Mr. Perez is not punctual. So the idea is that you write similarities and differences between Mr. Perez and Miss Solano, okay? Usando ese cuadrito, using this little chart. Is it clear what you have to do? Está claro? Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes, all right. Si quieren hacer una captura o dibujen el cuadrito en su cuaderno, entonces, make a screenshot or draw the chart on your notebook, como prefieran. O solo escriben similarities, differences, y ahí van escribiendo, okay? And you start writing. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, please. No questions? No questions. Okay, perfect.
the reading is on page number 37, okay? The reading is on page number 37. Okay, two. Mm -hmm.
Te da miedo que me vaya. No, ya puedo, ya puedo mamar. Uh, do you think uh, you can finish in three minutes? Or you need more time? Can you finish in three minutes? Or tell me, do you need Teacher, more time? More time. More time. More time, more time, more time, time please. Okay, I'll give you then uh, eight minutes, all right? Let me see, yeah, eight minutes, all right? Eight minutes. And then we start with the, with the other activity. Well, one activity that is connected with this activity.
Thank you very much, Angela, Adriana, Rosa, and Lourdes, and Lourdes sorry, for raising your hand to indicate that you finished. Thank you very much. Two more minutes, two more minutes. Teacher. Tell me. Uh, the observation uh, must, be, must be take in the note. No, no, no. I mean, right now, don't, oh, oh. Don't, don't pay attention to the observations in this moment, okay? Only pay attention okay. to, the, to the checklist, okay? A la okay. lista de cotejo, okay. to the checklist, but not to the observations, okay? We will see the, okay. obser the, the observations in another activity, okay? So don't pay attention okay. to the observations, please. Okay. Okay, very good. Um, the time is over, I'm sorry. Okay, listen, uh, for the next activity, uh, you need to have some information about similarities and differences, okay? About these two employees, all right? So the idea, and pay attention carefully here, uh, the idea in this moment is to go to breakout rooms and in groups, you will take turns to share similarities and differences, okay? And you will like, for example, imagine I work uh, with Flor and Rosa. So maybe I can share one similarity. And Flor says, oh, uh, also one similarity is, and Flor shares another similarity. And then Rosa, right? Oh yeah, it's true. And also, can, Rosa can say, right? Also, um, and Rosa gives another similarity. And then I can give a difference and Flor gives a difference, blah, blah, blah. So the idea is to take turns sharing similarities and differences in the groups. The idea is that everybody participates in the group, not only Rosa participating, right? And Flor and me are quiet. No, the idea is that everybody participates, okay? Yeah? Any question? No, it's clear? No, teacher. All clear. right. Okay, very good. So then let's go to break rooms and let's share the similarities and differences, okay? Maybe one person can start by asking the question and then you start the discussion, empiezan a discusión. You start to share, empiezan a compartir, okay? Yeah? All right, let's go then. Let's go to practice. Sí, gracias. 
Vale. Espero que tengamos un segundo. No, no problem. Yeah. Difference, similar and difference. Be mi, ajá. Excuse me, escuché algo por ahí. No, 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 nothing, nothing. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Ah, era el teacher. <laughs> I have a question for the teacher because okay. I am, I am, I start, I am coming late. Okay, tell me, Susan. Siempre, siempre tenemos que poner they both. No podemos omitir el day. Ah, uh, no. You have to say they both. They both. Ah, okay. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Or you can, maybe if you want to omit they, you can say both of them. Both of them. Okay? That's possible. Both of them are punctual, for example. Both of them. Okay? That's okay. possible. But not only both. Okay? Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Chicas, okay. who start? The first, uh, Susanita. Okay, I don't finish all. Similar, I say they like to work in group. Yeah, the don't use both, only say they like to work in group. It's true. Can you say both? Yes. Yes, okay. For me, it's true. Yes. Okay. They both like to work in group. They are focuses on his responsibilities? Yes. Yes. Michelle, the floor, okay. They both complete assigned work? Yes. Yes. Okay. Take turns. Uh, okay. The idea is that uh, maybe uh, three. Three. Susana yes. can share one, and then Michelle can share another similarity, and Flora another one. Okay. So the idea is ah, that okay. you take turns sharing similarities, not only the same person okay. sharing. Okay. Yeah. I'm finished. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry, Susan. Um. Okay. The next floor. Okay, they both similar and complain they were the same. Uh -huh. Also similarities, uh, I write. Uh -huh. I write it, I write it. Uh, they like to work in group. They complete the work as assigned. They are collaborative. They are well, they say nails on community ideas. Hey, uh, and the difference, uh, Oscar, the difference. can you can you mention one difference? Okay. The the principal principal difference uh, about them is uh, the punctual. Raul okay. Perez is always on punctual, and uh, Mrs. Solano is punctual. Okay. Yes, okay. but. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, the, the... also, Mr. Perez has a positive aptitude, while Mr. Solano doesn't, don't, no, yes, don't or not. Doesn't. 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 Because he's third person. Yes, because I I watched the the ex example and you you put not. It's not. I put is not. Is not. Ah, it's not. Yeah, because because as you could see on uh, I mean on my example I have 
is punctual, right? Okay, Mr. Solano is because I have is, all right, in the first sentence. Miss Solano is uh, punctual, it's punctual. But Mr. Per, Mr. Perez is Mr. Perez is not because I have uh, is in the first on the first sentence. Okay. Uh, Mr. Perez has a positive attitude while Mr. Solano doesn't. That's right. Uh, That's okay. correct. Okay. Okay. Adriana? Also, difference. Uh -huh. um, Mr. Perez does not violate rules. While in Miss, while Miss Solano violate rules. Uh, in this case, maybe for not repeating, you can say while uh -huh. Miss Solano does. 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 If you want to express a positive, okay, mm -hmm. As a positive one. While, while Miss Solano, Solano does, does violate. Does. On, no, no, only that. No. While Miss Solano does. does. It's only a short that. answer. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The idea is not to repeat the first sentence, and mm -hmm. when you say does, uh -huh. you are saying the the same, uh -huh. all right? Mm -hmm. For example, you say uh, Mr. Perez likes. Or violates rules, okay? Mr. Perez likes ah, uh, or violates okay. rules, mm -hmm. while Miss Solano does, okay? I For mean, example, in that case, Miss Solano is proactive, while Mr. Perez is not. Exactly, or isn't. Ah, okay. Is not or isn't. Not, you say like the opposite. If you say ah, positive okay. in the first sentence, you say negative on the second. Uh -huh. Or if you say negative on the first, you say positive on the second, okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For this reason, and uh, because Mrs. Solano is proactive, and uh, she has the that that default, she violates the rules. Violates. Viola violate the rules because she is proactive, and this default is the the principal type for leaders it's a characteristic <laughs> yes yes you are correct mm -hmm. but but it's no it's not bad because they they violate 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 pronunciation violate. they violate they violate, they violate, violate. but uh, they don't want to follow rules. They, maybe you can say they do it unconsciously. They, ah, okay. do, it they do it unconsciously. Unconsciously. Yeah, it's maybe it unconsciously. unconsciously. It's maybe because they have their own ideas, right? They yes. have their proper ideas. So they don't, yeah. they, are in, they are unconscious, okay, about violating the rules. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. you're correct. Yes. yes. What more? Uh, <clears throat> is is uh, Mr. Perez is pro, is is not proactive, but uh, Miss Solano is proactive. This is a yeah. different. Yes. <laughs> Is not proactive, is Raul Perez, ¿verdad? Yes, Miss yes. Solano. Mr. Perez yes. No, is proactive. Don't, don't is proactive. No, is proactive. I think. Yes. You finished? Yes, 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 all right, that's perfect. Okay, let's wait for the others. They're coming back. Okay, uh, maybe uh, one suggestion quickly, okay? This is very... Sorry, this is very important. So uh, one suggestion, okay? When you are talking about um, 
similarities and differences and differences, sorry. Okay, um, I will give you one example here that this is very important, okay? Uh, you can say, for example, uh, when you are saying a difference, okay? When you are saying a difference, you can say, um, let me see here, you can say, Mr. I mean, Karen Solano is always punctual. Karen Solano is always punctual, but Raul Perez is not. You don't need to repeat the sentence, okay? No necesitan repetir la oración. You only say, but Mr. Perez is not. not. Is not, only that, solo eso, only that, all right? Now, let's go to, uh, to this one, all right? Let me see, has, um, is a leader. Mr. Has, ah, does, this one, okay? Does not violate rules, okay? Uh, you can say, for example, um, Raul Perez does not violate rules. Raul Perez does not violate rules, but Karen Solano does. Only yes. that is correct, okay? No necesitan decir todo. You only say, but Karen Solano does. Yeah, so I repeat. Raul Perez does not violate rules, but, but, sorry, sorry, Raul Perez, but Karen Solano does, all right? So with that is enough. Con eso es suficiente. With that is enough, all right? So this is just to give you some, uh, some ideas, all right? So um, maybe just for the pronunciation of the word violar in English, the pronunciation is violate, 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 violate all right? Violate, violate rules, yeah? All right, very good. So did, uh, did you finish? Did everyone finish? Yeah? Okay, let's see, Adriana. Yes. Uh, let's see, Adriana, can you share one similarity, please? They like to work in group. Very good, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, Susana, can you share another similarity? Okay. Can they are focused on his responsibilities. Can you repeat it, please? They are focused on his responsibilities. That's right. They both focus on their responsibility. Okay, thank you very much, Susana. Okay, Darwin, uh, do you have another similarity? Yeah. They both communicate ideas. Good, that's excellent. Thank you very much. Oscar, do you have any other similarity? They like, uh, they, they are co collaborative. They are both collaborative. Okay, that's yes. excellent. Excellent, thank you, Oscar. Mayra, do you have another similarity? This is different. Oh, okay, no? okay. Uh, the one Oscar mentioned. Yes. Can you repeat it, Oscar, please? Oscar. They are collaborative. They are, no, no, it's a, it's a similarity. It's a similarity, Jancy. If you go to the reading, it says uh, in collaborative, they both have the, the cross. Ambos tienen la cruzita. Yes. They both have the cross. Se me movió la <laughs> yes. <laughs> so it's a similarity. All right. Thank you. Uh, all right. I said Mayra, right? Mayra, do you have any other similarity? No, teacher. No more similarities. So do no. you have a difference? A difference. Uh, yes, um, Manuel uh, Raúl. It's doesn't proactive and Karen. It is. Okay, good. Okay, so uh, Raúl is not proactive, uh, but Karen is. She is. Okay? But Karen is, or but she, you, you, well, in this case, you have to say Karen, right? Karen is, but Karen is. All right. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Mayra. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see somebody. Carla, do you have any, any difference? Another difference? No, I think that are complete. Uh, Mayra mentioned one difference about proactivity. So we have no more differences. Ya no hay más differences. We have no more differences. No? I, I can see Adriana is raising hands. Adriana? 
Mr. Perez does, um, does not viol, 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 violate, violate Viol rules while Miss Solano does. That's, that's right. So we have another difference then. Okay, so uh, Mr. Perez does that or is he, does not violate rules while Karen does or, the, or is the opposite? Or el contrario, is the opposite. No, it's like that, right? As he is, it's like that. Okay, very good. Uh, thank you very much, Adriana. Thank you very much. Chair. Yes. Different. Me, Another difference. Okay, Asalia. She, uh, Miss Solano, she has leadership skill. Sky. All right. Mr. Perez is not. Okay, very good. Uh, so Miss Solano has leadership skills, but Miss Solano doesn't. Okay, very good. That's excellent. Thank you very much. So do we have more similarities or differences or that's it? Yes, I thought that's it. Yes, sure. Right. Oh, okay, uh, who said yes, Lourdes? Okay, Lourdes. Yes. Uh, Mr. Perez has a positive attitude while Miss Solano, no. While Miss Solano doesn't. Yes. Doesn't. 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 Okay. It's, a, it's a difference, right? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Different uh, different teacher. Okay, uh, uh, Salia. Miss Solano is a, uh, is a leader. Uh, Miss, Mr. Perez. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. <laughs> okay, thank you, Melanie. Thank you very much. Very good. Okay, uh, okay. so uh, can you please do me a favor? Go to reactions and let's give thumbs up for the participations, please. Okay, so please, everybody, go to reactions and let's give thumbs up for the participations. Okay, thank you very much for your participations. Very good. Now, again, pay attention, and we are going to have another speaking activity about the same reading. Okay, acerca de la misma lectura. La clase de hoy gira en torno a esa pequeña lectura. About that. Uh, that report about that performance report or those performance reports. Very good. Now pay attention carefully. Uh, the idea for the next activity is the following, okay? About the same information about the performance reports of Raul Perez and Karen Solano, you need to say, okay, you need to say uh, why, I mean, you think, the reason why you think uh, Karen Solano and Mr. Uh, Perez, right? Yeah, uh, Ms. Solano and Mr. Perez, yes, um, should be promoted, okay? Why they, why you consider they should be promoted? Y vamos a empezar de esta manera. We can start this way, like this, okay? I think, or you can say in my opinion, or you can say in my point of view if you want. I think Mr. Uh, Perez should be promoted because, and then you give the reasons, y dan las razones, okay? For example, I can say, um, I can say, I think um, Mr. Perez should be promoted because he chose, he, he chose commitment to work. Also, he does not violate rules. Additionally, he focuses on his responsibilities and he communicates ideas, right? So you say the reasons why you consider Mr. Perez should be promoted, okay? I repeat, you can say, I think Mr. Perez should be promoted because he blah, 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 and you give the reasons. I consider, you can say, in my point of view, Mr. Perez should be promoted, or you can say, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, Mr. Perez should be promoted because and then you give the reasons, okay? Yeah. Yeah, is it clear? Estamos claros? Yes. Is it clear? Yes, now listen, teacher. before you go, antes de que vayamos a practicar, before you go, um, cuando queremos agregar información, I will say this in Spanish, okay? Eso lo voy a decir en español. Cuando nosotros queremos agregar información o agregar otra oración a lo que estamos diciendo, podemos usar las palabras, por ejemplo, also, que significa también. For example, you can say, I think Mr. Perez should be promoted because he has leadership skills. Also, he has a positive attitude, okay? Also, it's like también, para agregar información, para agregar más información. También pueden decir, um, additionally, como es adicionalmente, okay, y agregan otra oración. Additionally, right? Additionally, um, 
he doesn't violate the rules, for example, okay? También podrían usar moreover, moreover. Estas frases las pueden usar, okay? Moreover, que significa y también, moreover, okay? Also, additionally, and moreover. Si quieren, tomen nota de esas palabras. Take notes about these words. What's the meaning over? Moreover. Moreover uh, significa y también. El propósito okay. es el mismo. El propósito de las tres palabras es el mismo. Agregar información. To add information. Okay? The purpose okay. is the same. Also, additionally, moreover. So let me give you one example using these words. Le voy a dar un ejemplo usando estas palabras para que tengan una mejor idea. So you have a better idea. Okay? You can say, um, imagine I, I am in the group in this moment, okay? So I say, for example, I think, I think um, Raul Perez should be promoted because um, he chose commitment to work and he does not violate rules. Also, agregó la primera palabra, also, uh, he follows indications and likes to work in groups. Additionally, he focuses on his responsibilities and completes the work assigned. Moreover, he communicates ideas and he is collaborative. Finally, ah, you can say finally para la última. Finally, he has a positive attitude, okay? So that's one example about how you can do it. And then you talk about Karen Solano. Y luego hablan acerca de Karen Solano. You talk about Karen Solano. And why you consider she should be promoted? Y por qué consideran que debe ser promovida? Okay? Is it clear? More, more or in Spanish? How is it? It, it? Okay. Solo, tal vez no piensen mucho en la traducción. Y también. Pero tal vez no piensen mucho en la también. traducción. Piensen en que esas palabras son para agregar información. To add information. Okay? Exactly. Exactly. The purpose. Okay. The purpose of the words is to add information. To add information. Okay? Finally, okay. So, but the meaning in Spanish is también or y también. All right. So, do you have any question before we go and practice? No? For this activity, you will work in pairs because I want you to have more opportunity to practice. Okay. So, you will work in pairs or in threes, maybe. Okay. So, any question? No? All right. Let's go to practice. I will pass you the attendance after this activity. Okay.
Okay. Se desconectó Ángela. No sé qué le pasó. What, what uh, Kiri, do you do? Page 37. In, in the moment, in, in this moment, and write, write the reason, promise the, uh, the information the Mr. Raúl Pérez and Miss Karen Solano. Teacher, I have a question. In, in, in group, in group, uh, in group, we have uh, in the sea. We, we have? Uh -huh. uh, I, the, the, la, the decision is in group. Oh, no, no, it's your opinion. It's your personal opinion. Ah, okay, teacher. Yes. Okay. I send, okay. I can see Rafael is driving. So I send Osmin with you to practice, okay? So Osmin is ah, okay. practice with you. Because okay. Rafa is driving, okay? Ah, Angela se desconectó, no sé qué le pasó. No, la envía a otro equipo. I send her to another group. Ah, okay, okay, teacher. So you can practice with Osmin here. Okay. So maybe one one can start by giving the opinion, okay? I, in my opinion, Mr. Perez should Mr. Perez should be promoted because, and then you give your reasons, okay? Y dan, okay. Dan su razón. No, 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 right? No, no, no right. it's it's only speaking. Ah, okay, yeah. teacher. Okay. Yeah. Please. Okay. Mm. And give me a moment. The take analyze the okay. information <laughs> okay okay no problem for, for okay. this reason Entonces, uh, <laughs> no. No teacher we think raul and <laughs> Mr. Solano, uh, they can promote. Okay. But for different positions. Ah, all right. So they, they they should be promoted, but for other positions. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. All right. Yeah. So so you can say then. It's your opinion. It's your personal opinion. I mean, it's not that I'm pushing you to to give an opinion. I think. Okay. No, it's your opinion. All right. So in, in your case, Oscar, you can say, I think uh, Mr. Perez should be promoted to a different position because, and then you give the reasons, okay? Because yes. he doesn't have leadership skills, for example, I don't know, okay? You can say, yeah. it's, your, it's your personal opinion anyways. And you too, Yancy, it's your personal opinion. Okay? <laughs> so you example, can say whatever you think. Yeah, for example, okay. I, I promote Raul because she is a uh, loyalty. He's loyal. Yeah, it's loyal. No, don't proactive, no. Okay. It's passive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but for, for many operative positions. Okay, so you would promote him to, a, to some operative positions. Yes. yes. But, not for, but not to a manager position. No, no, no. Oh, no. okay, so you can explain that. Eso es lo que pueden discutir. You can, that's what yes. you can discuss, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. What do you think, Jancy? I think. No estoy de acuerdo que sea un sexual. I do. You can say I don't agree. I don't agree. No I think. No, I think. Uh, Miss. It's a leader. It's a leader in. Communicate ideas. And he communicates. Um, he. And you can say, and, and he communicates or she. And he communicates yeah. ideas. Uh, additionally, she is proactive, uh, he or she, okay? 
Okay. Okay. Ideas additional. Addition. Uh -huh. Addition is ah is proactive. She is, is proactive. She additionally she is proactive. Proactive. Yes. Okay, and finally is proactive. Is proactive. She is uh, collaborate. ¿Cómo es? How do you say, teacher? Collaborate. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. Collaborate. So, so flow. <laughs> so, no, <menos> así. <laughs> No, it's collaborative. Collaborative. It's collaborative. 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 Teacher, I have a doubt. It's communication because ideas. Ideas. Uh, when we are talking about Raúl Pérez, mention focuses in his responsibilities. And we are talking about Karen Solano, it's the same, focuses in his, no, it's oh, there, there, there is a, probably there is a mistake. There is a mistake uh, there. It's on yeah. her responsibility. Yeah, yeah, it, it could be her, the, the, uh, the her. right, yeah, her. Uh -huh. Focuses, focuses on her because he's uh -huh. a girl. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah, her. you're correct. You're correct, Ross. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. You say her, her responsibilities. Uh -huh. Her responsibilities. Yeah. Probablemente un hombre hizo el material. Es machista. Ya sabía que iba a decir eso, Talia. He's a macho man. He's a macho man. Ya me puede batichar. A little. Finish, teacher. All right, that's pretty good. Okay, that's excellent. I guess everybody okay. finished, okay? So we are going to go okay. out. Okay. Always puntual. Si lo pusimos. Ya se fue Rosy. Yeah, it's okay. You can meet the, the group. It's okay, no problem. Me voy también, teacher. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. No problem. Ah, you teacher, can... teacher. Yeah. Tell me. Mañana, mañana cumpleaños, Michelle. Oh, en serio, sí, really? Yeah, yo quería, yo quería como decirles, ay, cántemele happy birthday. Sería buena idea. Solo le, solo le he dicho a cuatro, pero no les he dicho a los demás. Uh. Podríamos tomarlo en cuenta mañana entonces. Ok, teacher. Es Flor, que la perdón. semana Flor, pasada right? me, di, me dijo cuando cumplía años y yo lo recuerdo. Ah, ok. You have a good memory. Yes. Ok, that's Thank solid. you, teacher. All right. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay, very good. Uh, so I, I guess everybody discussed, right? The, but I have a very, a very interesting question. Uh, the, the question here is, because it's your personal opinion, right? I can push you, all right? It's your personal opinion. So the, the question here is, uh, is, do you think, do you think uh, it's okay to promote Mr. Perez? Or you think it's, is not okay to promote Mr. Perez. What do you think? No, no, not is okay. No. It's not okay to promote Mr. Perez. Okay, no, why, do, no. why do you say that, Miguel? Uh, I, uh, I think, or oh, I, I think uh, the the qualities are the different qualities, All right, not the good. similar qualities. Mm -hmm. And the, and the different qualities more important to me. It's a leader and proactive. All right. And this only half uh, Miss Solano. 
All right, very good. So, so in your opinion, uh, Mr. Perez doesn't have the qualities to be promoted. Yes. Oh, all yes, right. yes. All right. I, I agree I, with Miguel. Okay, very good. Everybody, okay, does everybody agree with Miguel? That's For me, yes. Yes, yes. Uh, yes. Agrees. And the other I agree. Yes. I agree. Rosa, I agree. Yes. Okay. Champion. I, I yeah. like yes. uh, Oscar. I think Oscar has a different opinion, right? Or you have the same no. opinion, Oscar. No, you no, were no, telling no. me that it depends on the position. It depends on the... Ah, Ra Raul, you give another activity okay, for maybe the for... operative area, but okay. not, not... Administrative or... Higher position, no. Or managerial. No, right. no, no. Okay, so uh, Oscar was saying that for managerial positions or for leadership positions, Mr. Perez doesn't apply, right? But maybe uh, he should be promoted uh, to other, uh, to operative, you said, right? Operative positions. Yes, for, for good attitude. Okay. Uh, for good another, attitude. For another activities. All right. But Thank not you. a better position. Okay, Oscar. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, okay. So I'm not pushing you, right? At the end, this is your opinion. It's not my opinion, right? Very good. Now let's go to the girl, uh, Miss Solano, Karen Solano. Uh, do you think... Karen Solano should be promoted? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. Yes, uh, yes, okay. Why do you think yeah. Karen Solano should be promoted? Why? Because she is a leader and she is proactive. And this attitude is very important to promote an employee. Okay, excellent. I really like that. What about the others? Do you agree or disagree? Sure. Also, is always punctual. I have the ah. same. Ah, she's yes, always punctual too. It's another qualification or quality, all right? Uh, so yeah. Susana says she has the same information. So Susana, do you agree with Lourdes? Yes, and the others, do you agree or disagree with I Lourdes? I agree. Every, you in, agree? In my case, no problem. Darling, do you agree or disagree? Disagree. You disagree? Why? Because, for example, in my company, the your violet rule is uh, how do you say it, Lola Steven? Oh, you no, get fired. You get fired. The the violet rule is a, a a principal default for proactive people. Mm -hmm. She is not. Biology rules. ¿Cómo se dice a propósito? With propose. By purpose. By purpose. Uh -huh, no, no, with propose. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. No. Okay. I really like that opinion. Okay. But I, I think I, I agree with Darwin because Darwin, I think Darwin has in a security company, right? Darwin? Uh, yes. The yes. security employees is the first quality. Yes, and, and you know uh, that in security, I mean, they are very strict, I mean, by violating rules. In the end, I agree with Oscar and I agree with Darwin, right? In my case, I don't know you, because yeah, it, depends, it depends on the position or it depends on the job. Mm -hmm. uh, and depends the violet. Depends. Yes. For yes. quality, uh, if, if I violate quality, oh, it's, it's no good. It's bad. Mm -hmm. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Oh my God. It's necessary to investigate uh, what uh, violet rule uh, is Solano. Okay, very good. So it's necessary to investigate because yes. it's a report, right? Okay, thank you, Lourdes. Oscar, do you want to say something else? You want to say something else, Oscar? Sorry to interrupt you. No. Okay, okay, everybody. Thank you very much. It was very good to have this discussion. Okay, I really liked the, the discussion. All right, let me pass the attendance quickly and we go to another activity. Ada? Present. Adriana? Present. Michelle? Here. Angela? Present, teacher. No Asalia? Present. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor. Present. 
Gloria? Here. Are you working, Gloria? Yes. Okay. Carla? Yes. Present. Margarita? Mayra? Present. Miguel? Present, teacher. Nelson? Present. Ophelia? Here, teacher. Osmin? Present, teacher. Rafael? I think he's driving, right? Rafael is driving. Present. Oh, okay, okay. Rosa? Present. Sandra? Present, teacher. Jansi? Present, teacher. Zulma? Present. Edwin? Ingrid? Lourdes? Present. Oscar? Present. And Susana? Susana? I think she was giving her opinion, right? Susana was participating. Hi, Susana. Okay, very good. Now listen. Um, now listen. For, for the next activity, uh, you are going to write some questions, but listen, listen. Uh, the, the questions uh, you are going to write are about the same people, Mr. Perez and Mr. Solano. But listen carefully. Listen carefully. The questions you are going to write are using does. Does. Okay? But please, please, Include information we have on the checklist and include information we don't have on the checklist because later you will ask the questions to your classmates, okay? En un momento le van a hacer esas preguntas a sus compañeros. For example, let me give you one example here. So you are supposed to do this activity um, on, these, on these spaces, okay? Se supone que van a hacer esta actividad en estos espacios de la página 38, ¿ok? Questions about Mr. Perez and questions about um, Mrs. Solano. Now listen. For example, you can write the question um, about um, Raúl Perez. Does Raúl Perez, or does he, you can say, does Raúl Perez show commitment to work? ¿Ok? Pero también podrían poner, is Raúl Pérez uh, attentive? And we don't have the information, right? Pueden poner información que no está acá en las preguntas. You can put the information that is not here, okay? Or you can say, for example, um, does Raúl Pérez have a managerial position? Okay, so it's information we don't have. But the idea is to write questions using does about Raúl Pérez and about Miss, Mrs. Solano. Con información que tenemos o con otra información, okay? Any question? Using does, using does. For Karen, you can say, for Karen Solano. Does Karen Solano um, violate rules, for example? Does Karen Solano violate, violate rules? Okay, so that can be the question. Como preguntas, teacher. Exactly. Just no questions. Preguntas cerradas. Y si okay. tienen el material, las pueden escribir acá. Okay, you can write the questions here. Okay. <clears throat> is example, teacher. Sorry? Example. Yeah, this is one example here. Does Mr. Perez show commitment to work? Yes, he does. Is he a leader? Ya en la segunda pregunta digo he porque ya dije Mr. Perez en la primera, right? Is he a leader? Yes, he is. Y continúan haciendo más preguntas acerca de él y aquí pueden hacer las respuestas. Aquí en la. estos cuadritos, ok. Sí. Pueden hacer eh, cinco preguntas, ok? Las que faltan ahí. Five more questions. Three, four, five, six, seven. And the answers y las respuestas abajo, ok? Aquí dice Mr. Okay, Perez. Teacher. Pero este cuadrito de aquí, let me highlight. Este de aquí es para la respuesta de Mrs. Solano. Mr. Error, Solano. Okay? Y este cuadrito de acá es para la respuesta de Mr. Perez. Okay? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay perfect. 
No, let's wait. Trabajemos. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is on page number 38, okay? In case you have the photocopy. Si no tienen la, foto, la fotocopia en su cuaderno. If you don't have the photocopy, work on your notebook, okay? I repeat, you can put information we don't have. Okay, you can put information we don't have. For example, you could say, does Mr. Does Mr. Perez have initiative? Does Mr. Perez have initiative? Okay. And the answer is, we don't have the information. We don't have the information, okay? You need to write the questions and the answers, okay? The questions and the answers. Teacher, is uh, yeah. affirmative is affirmative or negative? I mean, it doesn't matter. It doesn't okay. matter. I mean, but but um, if, for example, if the the sentence you have on the information is negative, make the question positive, okay? And put okay. the answer and put the answer negative. Sorry, okay. For example, okay. which which information is negative? For example, do you have any information that is negative? Is uh, Mr. Mr. Perez is a leader? Okay, let me see. Oh no. yeah. Um, the question the question would be is Mr. Perez well? Como ya escribiste Mr. Perez en la primera, solo diríamos is he a leader? And in the answer is no, he isn't. Okay, the question is positive, but the answer is negative. Okay, for example, teacher, Mr. Perez is always punctual. 
Ajá, y, is. Y, is Mr. Y, Pérez. Is Mr. Pérez. Always function. No, he isn't. No, he no, isn't. He, no, he isn't. Okay, no, he thank isn't. you. All right. Thank Remember. You. Yeah, it's okay. If we ask the question using is, we answer using is. If we ask the question using does, we answer using does, okay? For example, is Mr. Perez proactive? Yes, he is. Or negative? No, he isn't. Okay? Uh, does Mr. Perez violate the rules? For example, yes, he does. Positive and negative? No, he doesn't. Okay? For the answers. <clears throat> ¿Podría quedar does y he always puncture? No, 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 no. No, because no. here the verb is is. Is. So the question is, is he? Is, is. he is he always punctual? Por is eso. he? Does not. No, it's not possible. Cuando usamos uh -huh. el verbo to be, la pregunta uh -huh. empieza con el verbo to be. Uh -huh. Ya sea con is. am, is o are. Y en este caso okay. tenemos is. Is Así que la pregunta es, yes, exactly. okay. is he always punctual? And the answer, yes, he is, or negative, no, he isn't, okay? Okay, teacher. Yeah. Recuerden, si tenemos un verbo normal eh, que no sea am, is, o are, la pregunta empieza con das en el presente simple. ¿okay? Si es tercera persona, empieza con das. Y en este caso tenemos tercera persona, así que empezamos la pregunta con das. Pero si está el verbo is, vamos a empezar la pregunta con el verbo is. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, uh, is a leader. La pregunta sería is she a leader. Okay, is she a leader? In this case, a uh has. -huh. Ah, for the questions, remember, I explained that. For the questions, uh, we use have. Have. So does he have? have? Does he have? Does, does he have, have or does she have? Uh -huh. Does he have or does she have? Say the, the has for how. Exactly. Because we use has only for positive in third person. He has a book. She has a book. But in the auxiliary, person. apply the rule. Exactly. The auxiliary is in third person. Does. So we leave the verb normally. Okay. Dejamos el verbo en su forma normal. Que es have. How. Exactly. So the question is, does he have, does he have communication skills or does she have communication skills, okay? Si fuera she, le dejo has. No, no. In the question, no. you always put have, Sandra. Always put have in the question, always. Okay. Y lleva das siempre. Does, does he have. Does he have? Exactly. Okay. Attitude or attitude, teacher? The pronunciation. At, at, attitude? See, si? yes. Attitude. 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 Yeah, positive attitude, or you can say positive, positive attitude, positive attitude. Attitude or attitude? Attitude, 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 attitude. Thank you. Okay.
What's the meaning codmin teacher? What's the meaning? Codmin men. Codmin men. Where is that? Don't decide. It <laughs> shows Mr. Solano. A commitment. 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 Compromiso. Ah. Comprom okay. Gracias. Yeah. Okay. Creo que ahí, eh, solo para adelantarles un poquito, creo que ahí hay un error en lo de los temas del pasado, porque no hemos llegado a esos temas todavía, pero no es porque yo me he retrasado, sino que hay un, creo que ahí hay un error, como que hay un adelanto que no es debido, ¿ok? Y veo que les aparecen algunos ejercicios del pasado porque me han estado preguntando. Realmente en la fecha, en la fecha vamos bien, ¿ok? El problema es eh, que se ha adelantado, se han adelantado algunos ejercicios que pertenecen a un tema que nos toca más a ver, que nos corresponde más adelante. Ok, pero si tienen preguntas del pasado, con gusto les puedo resolver. Pero yo creo que la mayoría ya terminaron, ¿verdad? La plataforma. Bien. Uh -huh. yeah. Ok, pero si tienen dudas, pregunten. You can ask. Sandra, did you have a question? No, teacher. Ok. Are you ready? Are you ready? Si están listos, me ponen una manita así. Si no están listos, no pongan nada. So, are you ready? If you are ready, put a hand like. Así, una manita así. Okay, so Rosa is ready. Thank you, Rosa. Only Rosa no is ready. <laughs> no, go to reactions and put the hand, all right? You can go to reactions and, and put the hand like. like. So let's give more time then. Only Rosa has finished. So I will give you five more minutes. Cinco minutos más, five more minutes to finish. Carla, did you finish? Yes, I finished. Okay, she has finished. Okay. Um, Darwin, have you finished? Yes, right? Okay, so I have Rosa, Carla, and Darwin. Okay. And Mayra, I think. No? Yes. I see your, your face expression tells me that you have finished. <laughs> Let's give some more time to the others, okay? Four minutes, cuatro minutos más, four more minutes. Answer teacher. Yeah. Answer is he. Uh, sure is he is not. He is. Yes, I'm, he is. 
<laughs> yes, he is is short answer. But in this uh -huh. case, Sandra, yeah, yes, he is is a short answer, Sandra. Yes, he is. And yes, negative, he is. and negative, yes. no, he isn't. No, he isn't, perdón, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. negative. Mm -hmm. And does, uh, does she doesn't? The answer is, yes, she does in positive, yes, she does. And in negative, yes. no, she doesn't. No, she does. Okay, thank yeah. you. ¿A quién le corresponde la sesión uno a uno ese día? Mi teacher, Adriana. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Ok, everyone, now please, everyone stop. Todos dejen de hacer lo que están haciendo. Please, everyone stop what you're doing. Lord, please stop. Ok, if you haven't finished, don't worry, ok? In case you haven't finished, it's ok. No problem, ok? But, but at least you have some questions, ok? At least you have three questions for Mr. Perez and at least you have three questions for, um, for Ms. Solano or Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Solano. Now listen. To practice, uh, to practice in the breakout rooms, you will take turns asking the questions, okay? But your classmates or a classmate will give you the answer and you will verify, okay? You will verify if your classmate is giving the correct answer, okay? For example, imagine I practice with Nelson and Angela. I can take, uh, I mean, let's take turns and I can ask Angela. Uh, is Mr. Perez, um, let me see, or does Mr. Perez have initiative? Does Mr. Perez have initiative? So, and then Angela can answer my question. And then Angela is going to ask Nelson, and Nelson can ask me, or, or si quieren hacen la pregunta para todos, I don't know, it's your decision, okay? But the idea is to take turns asking questions, okay? And you verify the answer and if the answer is not correct you tell your classmates no listen the answer is not correct the answer is this this and this okay yeah it's clear okay teacher is it clear yeah yes. so please everybody needs to ask questions okay not the same person asking questions everybody needs to participate asking questions okay so let's go to practice then Tengan las, eh, la información a la mano para que puedan contestar correctamente, ¿ok? The information about Mr. Perez and Mrs. Solano. So have the information. So when your classmate asks you, you check the information quickly and then you answer, ¿ok? So have the information at hand. Tengan la información a mano. Have the information at hand, ¿ok? 
great, teacher. All right, let's go to practice. Three, he, his responsibility uh, as well. Yes, he is. And number four. Nelson, ah, sorry, 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 sorry for the interruption. Nelson, you are supposed to ask the questions to Michelle and Ada and Asalia ah. and they answer the questions for you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Ada, uh, yes. Mr. Mr. Perez is a leader. Another interruption. Uh, Another interruption. I'm sorry. Remember, when you ask questions, you see is, you say is first, right, Michelle? Uh, so you say, is Mr. Perez a leader? That's the question, okay? Okay. Is first. Okay, now continue, please. No, is he is. Yes. No, he is. Is yes. Correct? Is yes. Correct. Correct. No, he is. No, eh. no he, he isn't. No, he he's isn't. not a leader. Not eh. leader. Not leader. Yes. Uh -huh. eh. no. Um. No, he isn't. Puede, pudiera ser. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. No, he isn't. Eh, Mr. P. Eh, e. Is Mr. Perez followed indication? Interruption yes. again. Interruption again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, that, but I have to correct you, Nelson. I'm sorry, okay? Dijimos que cuando no usamos el is y hay cualquier otro verbo, vamos a usar does. Does. Okay, does. Does Mr. Perez. Does Mr. Perez have follows instructions follow. or indications, okay? Follow. Does Mr. Perez follow indications, okay? Yes. All right, continue. Okay. Lo siento por interrumpirlo, pero I have to correct you, okay? It's good. Thank you, right. teacher. Okay. Does, no. does Mr. Perez follow indication? Yes, yes, he, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he yes, does. He, does. Mm -hmm. he is communicated communicator idea. Yes, he is. Uh, does Mr. Perez exper experience? Have experience. Have. Uh, have experience. You can say you can say we don't have the information, okay? We don't have the information. You can say that. 
Si no tienen información, we don't have the information, okay? Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, mm, yes. We the, don't the, have the information. The yeah. teacher say uh, I occupation other other question. Yeah, I said that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Correct. I said that. No information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no no. Does he have? Does he have? Has okay. He, we can use has because does is the auxiliary. Does he ah, have? Okay. Uh -huh. Does he have a positive a positive attitude? The announcement said, yes, he does. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so now a question about Miss Solan. Okay. Uh, Miss Solano. Mm -hmm. I, I say um, behind. I ask you about Miss Perez. Okay. Okay. Is Miss Perez collaborative? Uh, yes, he's. Yes, is Miss Perez proactive? No, he isn't. Yes, um, Miss Perez violates rules. Miss Pe Mr. Perez Viola. Perez Yes. Yes, what? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the question does Mr. Perez violate the rules? And I say yes, he does. <laughs> um yeah, the, the no. idea. Okay, the idea yeah. is that uh, when you use a verb yeah. that is not is, cuando usamos un verbo que no es el uh -huh. is que es cualquier otro verbo, usamos does para la pregunta, son uh -huh. does. Okay. So the question mm -hmm. is, does Mr. Yes. Perez violate rules? Uh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because, uh -huh. In that case, I, I can say, but... <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, has Miss Perez positive attitude? Mm -hmm. Does... Does Mr. Perez have a positive attitude? No. Yes, How? Does. does Mr. Perez have a positive attitude? Uh -huh. mm, yes. why, is ha why is have and no is has? Because does is the auxiliary. When you use the auxiliary, the verb change. And um, does Miss Perez mm. have positive attitude? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Okay, I I'm going to ask you about Miss Miss Solan. Miss Miss Mrs. Mrs. Okay. Mrs. She's married. Mrs. Uh -huh. Yeah, Mrs. Uh, Miss Solana. Is she a leader? What? Is she a leader? Miss Solano. Yes. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> yes. Yes, he does. No. Yes, uh, he does. Uh, miss, ah, Miss Solano, Miss Solano, sorry, yeah. sorry. No, 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 she doesn't. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay. Claire, your turn. Yes. Um, does Mr. Perez a uh, leader? Mm. No, he doesn't. Interruption. No, I'm no, sorry. Okay. I'm Go sorry, ahead, teacher. Okay. Just remember, remember, Flor, okay, when you have the verb is, cuando tenemos el verbo is, la pregunta va con el verbo is. Okay, repeat the question, please, Flor. Repeat the question, please. Does Mr. Perez a leader? A leader. En este caso, en la oración esa tenemos is. Ahí en la información, okay, is a leader. Okay, is. Si tenemos el is, la pregunta empieza con el is. 
Communication ah, is easy, pero better is leader. Ah, okay. O sea, okay. no todas okay. tienen que llevar DAS. Exactly. No todas. Exactly. La que, las únicas que van a llevar DAS son las que no son tienen. Son las que verbo. tienen él. Las que no tienen is. Las que no tienen is, yeah. que tienen otro verbo como has, como have. No like. Sé. Ajá, exactly. Ah, ya. Yeah. Ok. Pensé que podíamos usar cualquiera de las frases. No, no, no. No, it depends. Depende ah. de qué que tengamos. It depends on the ah, okay. okay. Example, okay, for teacher. example. It's confused. <laughs> for example, yes, for, Mr. Confused. Uh, for Mr. Raúl Pérez. Uh, if you see number one, en la número uno aparece show commitment to work, en la información, ¿verdad? Yes. Como el yes. verbo no es is, aquí sí digo does. Does oh. he show commitment to work? En la segunda dice is always punctual, en la información, mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Ahí yes. sí la, la pregunta iría con is, porque tenemos el is. Is oh. he, la pregunta, is he always punctual? Ah, oh, ok. okay. okay. In okay. number three, violate. Yes. Does he violate rules? Ok. Ok. Ok, yeah. teacher. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. Ok. Ok. Eh, entonces sería, is Mr. Pérez a leader? A leader. Yes. Yes, Mr. Pérez. Ya, ya. Ah, no. Das. Teacher, we have a question. <laughs> ok. For Karen Solano, in the in in a in a description um, performance report, it say does not violent rules. That's it. We can ask in negative. The I, no no does not uh, she no no I mean asking positive the answer is uh, negative but the question is I said that the question is in positive and the answer is negative okay so the question uh, would be does Mrs Solano violate rules uh, does, and the uh, answer is yes she uh, does or no she yes doesn't? she does yes, yes she, she does. does all right okay. yeah ah because. Uh, we think that the question is <laughs> negative and as answer is positive. No, it's you can ask questions in negative too. It's possible, okay? It's But possible. It, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's possible. Does, does, does and she doesn't she doesn't she violate she. rules? Ah, pues era como decía Carita. Does not does she? not she? No, no. But, 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 but okay, okay. Pero si uh -huh. decimos el does not, si no usamos la la contracción, That's vamos true. a decir does she not does, does she, she not, not violate mm. rules, pero si usamos la contracción does and she does, does, does and she, she violate rules exactly. and the answer is yes she does yeah. imposible oh, mm -hmm. okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. ok thank you thank you teacher yeah. Does she has experience in the area? Experience in the area. Uh, doesn't the information. We don't have information. Doesn't that information. We, don't have, uh -huh. we, we don't, don't have, have information. We don't have information. Uh, yes. Adriana, sorry. The question is, does she have? En preguntas usamos ah, el have, no usamos el Vaya, eso es lo que les decía a ellas, yo, yo no tenía como does she have. Exactamente. Porque, ajá, el verbo tener, ¿verdad? Have. Entonces, yes. algo pasó que empezamos a discutirlo y lo, lo corregí, le puse has. No, es have, es have. El has uh -huh. se usa solo para positivo en tercera persona. En pregunta y en negativo se usa el have, ¿ok? Ok. Ah, es, es, ah, es que aquí tiene en la, en la última... Okay, uh, yes, Carla, in the question you use have, Carla, okay? I, I were, I, we were discussing, okay? So in the question you use have, okay? You don't use has. Has is only for positive, for a third person. He has or she has. He has a book or she has a book, okay? For the question you use have, okay? Okay, thank you, I get it. All right, very good. And for everybody, not only for you, okay? Very good, uh, so <laughs> I guess everybody practice the questions, right? 
uh, the idea here is to practice questions in the simple present, okay? And to, of course, and to understand the information of the reading, okay? So thank you very much for um, practicing, okay? Le voy a pasar asistencia la última vez. And, and then only, ¿quién estaba en la sesión? Adriana, right? Who, who has the yes, one teacher. Yes, Adriana. Okay. Yes. And only Adriana stays, okay? So let me pass attendance with Teacher. It's time, yes? Adrianita tiene una canción so, para ellos. Solo a los compañeros, recordándole que ya están solicitando la información para el siguiente ah, curso. Ok, a mí, no, a, a mí no me habían dicho nada. Gracias, Nelson. A nosotros aún no nos han informado, pero... Ok, muchas gracias por el recordatorio entonces, Nelson, para que estemos pendientes siempre en recursos humanos, ok? Yo ya la mandé. Ok, excelente. Excelente, very good. Thank you very much, Sally. Así que los demás, si no lo han mandado, para que estén pendientes preguntando a recursos humanos, ok? Pues hasta que nos lo no, 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 no. Yes, ok, let me pass the attendance. Ok, so basically the class <laughs> is over, ok? Uh, si les paso asistencia. Human resource que... is, is human responsibility. Resource. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So please, when I pass you the attendance, si les paso asistencia, se pueden salir, no hay ningún problema, ok? So, Azalia can say good night, pero cuando ya... Bye, cuando teacher, diga, bye. Diga, cuando diga el nombre de ella, when I say your name, ok? Bueno, y la, y, no, no la ve, está dormida. Y de castigo, y de, castigo, y de castigo la voy a mencionar de último, ok? <risa> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ada? Present. Good Adriana. night. Good night, Adriana. Present. Present. All right. Michelle? Es el luna. Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Good night. Good teacher, night. Good night. Good night. Everyone. Asalia? En inglés se lo voy a good cantar. <laughs> Present, good night, everybody. <laughs> good night. Darwin? Present, teacher. Good All right. Night. Very good night. Flor? Present, good night. Good night. Gloria? Uh, present, good night. Good night, Carla. Present, good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. See you tomorrow, Margarita. Not present, right? Mayra. Present. All right. Good night. Good night, Miguel. Good night. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night, Nelson. Present, teacher. See you tomorrow, everybody. Okay. God willing. Bye bye. Ophelia. Here, teacher. Good night. Good night, Osmi. Present teacher, good night. Good night, Rafa. Rafa. Present. All good right. night. Good night. Um, Rosa. Present. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Sandra. Present teacher, good night. See you good tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow, Jansi. I'm here. Good All night. Right. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sulma. Here. Good night. Good night. Lourdes. Here, teacher. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. See you. Oscar. Present. All right. Oscar, thank you. Okay, Adriana. Susana is not connected, I think. Okay. All right. Okay, Adriana, so this space is for you. And I don't want to take time from your space, okay? So go ahead. Eh, okay, teacher, mire, he estado como haciendo un pequeño resumen en, el, en lo que he llevado el día, este de lo que he, he visto a lo largo de este tiempo. Mm -hmm. Entonces quiero como resumírselo y igual lo traía una, una duda que era el uso de estos auxiliares TAS y tú. Okay. Pero eh, al, al, en el desarrollo de esta clase, moment, ya, ya veo que me lo ha solventado. Okay. Das se ocuparía para, la, para las preguntas en tercera persona, ¿verdad? Para sí, y el, sí, y los sí. verbos son en su forma base. Correctamente. Edu sería entonces para... Aplicaría entonces para las... las los demás pronombres. Los, singular, los demás los, pronombres. Los demás pronombres que no son el he, she o el it o el... También el he y el she lead pueden es ser plural, sustituidos. Quiero decir, Ajá. Do, plural, no. Ajá, para Sería, plurales ah. y para algunos singulares, porque el I es singular, pero no es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Es primera. Y el you, ah. que significa tú también. ¿Ok? Y we, ok. Y we, ok. Vale, entonces ahí este, me quedó claro. Después de repente 
me surgieron la duda de los simple, simple present en present continuous. Okay. Entonces, present continuous este, se ocupa para cuando yo estoy haciendo una actividad en, 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 en este momento uh -huh. y se le agrega el verbo ing. Yes. Este, cuando yo me estoy refiriendo ya en simple present, este, para la tercera persona es que le agrego S al verbo. Sí, vaya, eh, vaya. Primero hablemos del presente continuo. El presente continuo tiene varios propósitos y sí se le agrega ING al verbo y se usa el verbo to be, que es am, is o are, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, yo podría decir I am speaking in this moment, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Or she is, or you are listening to me in this moment, ¿ok? Le uso, uh -huh. uso ING y el verbo to be. Or she is listening to me, ¿ok? Ese is, uh -huh. va. Ahora bien, hay que considerar que el presente continuo o presente progresivo, que se llama lo mismo, puede ser usado para diferentes propósitos. Y uno de los propósitos es lo que tú dices, acciones en este momento que estoy haciendo ahorita. Pero en esta unidad lo hemos estado estudiando para acciones en curso. Ongoing actions, lo que les explicaba. Ongoing actions, es decir, algo que estoy haciendo estos días o algo que está sucediendo estos días. Y el ejemplo puede ser, um, what? Um, we are doing homework. Estamos haciendo la tarea. Es una acción que ha estado sucediendo toda la semana. Es en curso. Uh -huh. okay? uh -huh. O podría decir, estoy haciendo unos reportes. Si no los he terminado, o sea, es algo que está en curso. I am writing. Digo, uso el presente continuo. I am writing some reports. ¿Ok? okay. Ajá. Y siempre conjugado con el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Correctamente, el verbo to be. Depende del pronombre. I am, he is, she is. Sí. Right? You are, we are, they are. Y el verbo con ing. Vaya, en, en, para el presente simple, for the simple present, primero el presente simple, el propósito es hablar acerca de rutinas o actividades regulares. Okay? Regular activities. Okay? Es decir, actividades que regularmente hago en el trabajo. Okay? Ahora bien, si sí, voy a usar una oración en positivo en el presente simple para la tercera persona, que es siempre la tercera persona la que nos mete a problemas, le voy a poner S o S al verbo. Depende de la regla. Hay diferentes reglas, ¿ok? Uh -huh. En positivo nada más. Only in positive, ¿ok? Si es negativo, uso el doesn't para la tercera persona y el verbo ya no lleva S. Si es pregunta, uso el das, que es lo que hemos estado viendo para la pregunta, y el verbo ya no necesita ese, porque el das hace la función de la tercera persona. ¿Ok? Ok, dicho. Y también este con Carlita, se, se nos fue el tiempo y a preguntarle iba de que ella se había quedado con la duda de que cuando estábamos haciendo eh, la, las questions, las preguntas, ella me decía en una. Por ejemplo, me dijo, eh, is he focus, no, no, is he likes to work in group. Y me quedé, mira, Carlita, no es, does he like to work in group. No es que lleva ese, el verbo, me dijo, y me quedé, no, pero yo vi el teacher que dijo que el does lo íbamos a ocupar cuando tengamos eh, conjugado el verbo to be, ¿verdad? En tercera persona, el is. Uh -huh. Ah, pues eso. Y, y, y lo corrigió y todo eso. Y después dijimos, no, pero le vamos a preguntar al teacher para que quede okay, claro, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, básicamente la S en el verbo solo es en positivo para tercera persona, solo en positivo. En negativo y en pregunta no necesita la S el verbo porque el das hace la función de tercera persona. Uh -huh. Ajá, y ahí no hay necesidad. Ajá, cabal, cabal, cabal. No, no es necesario poner la S. Ajá, y si. No, y, 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 y el sí. das no, no lo ocupo, pues. Si quiero hacer la pregunta así como. Is he proactive? No voy a decir. No, porque Does... estoy usando el verbo to be. Ajá. Cuando uso el verbo to be, la pregunta es con el verbo to be. To be, ajá. Cuando no tengo el verbo to be, ahí para, para referirme a tercera persona ocupo el das. Para ajá, referirme si a los otros pronombres, el tú. Si es, pre, si es presente simple, por supuesto. Porque hay diferentes ah, sí. tiempos. Si estamos hablando en presente simple, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También estoy repasando un poquito lo del pasado del verbo to be, was and were. Ok. Creo que ahí no tengo... Este duda porque sí eh, quise recopilar y de repente eso del present simple y present continuo suele por ser es, ay, es que tienen eso de, de present 
lo tiene, lo, lo hace uno un poquito como confundirse, pero creo sí. que aprendérmelo de memoria, ¿verdad? Que Ajá. el person ah. continuous, eh, ahí yeah. ocupamos el ING y es para... Y el para, verbo to be. Uh -huh. Ajá, el verbo to be y es para actividades que tienen final, la finalidad de, de especificar como actividades que estoy desarrollando en un momento o en curso cuando comimos en la clase de... Exactamente. Ongoing action, ¿verdad? Ongoing actions. Or Ajá, events. Ongoing, Uh -huh. Sí, dicho más que todo, esa era, dije, no, hoy sí tengo que solventar eso de por qué ocupamos esas auxiliares del DOS en DOS. Ok, perfecto. Lo bueno que ya está solventado. Sí, y okay. bueno, lo de los verbos en pasado, dicho, yo sé que tengo que reconocer que uh, uh, tengo que ir aprendiendo menos poquito por poquito, o sea, y yo tengo la, el listado, pero este apenas miro el verbo to be, ya sé que was and were, pero... Todos los demás verbos en pasado no me los pongo mucho. Es de ponerse la meta. Ahí es la meta. Uh -huh. que, ajá, ¿De cuántos me voy a aprender al día, por ejemplo? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí es personal, es personal. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, ya sé. <risa> Pero básicamente eso quería hacer como un pequeño resumen y cuando uno lo habla, se le va quedando más. Así ¿no? es, va profundizando, le... va interiorizando ajá. más lo que sabe. Así es, ¿Sí? totalmente. Uh -huh. Así que... Ok. Eso, teacher, tenía como, como aquí una como pequeña discusión para el día de hoy. Ok, perfecto. Ok, thank you very much, uh, Adriana, for staying. No, gracias a usted, teacher. Ok, gracias. Buenas noches. Good night. Buenas noches. Ok, bye-bye. See, see you tomorrow, ¿verdad? Yes, sí. see, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye.